Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam. If you don't know me, I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator based in London. So I've lived in this flat for about eight, nine months now, and it does take me a while to get around to filming things, but I wanted everything ready, like the art on the walls and, and bits and pieces of furniture. So I feel like it is acceptable to show you guys now. My last flat I had in Canary Wharf, I was meant to do a flat tour, I filmed it all, and it just, it's too late to post it now. I lived there eight months ago, moved in a year and a half ago. It's a bit too late to show you that. But I thought I'd show you what you can get in London, East London, for two-ish grand a month. Hey guys. So this is a studio apartment, so it's all one room. I think for a studio, it's a pretty good size. I've seen some scrawny, tiny little studios before. So obviously this is the kitchen area. It came with this dining table and chairs, and then it already had these bar stools, so they're gonna just sit here in case they need it, but, but these are just gonna sit here waiting for another flat that has a breakfast bar. So we've got the kitchen counter, we've got some nice appliances. This like heats up in like two minutes, which is really good. It's got like a rapid um, heating situation, induction hob. It doesn't have a microwave, which is annoying because when you've got limited space and have to shove a massive microwave on like most of the surface area given, it's not that cute. I've even had to put my kettle on top of my microwave just to have literally no room. Just have an assortment of things for my coffee and my matcha. Bought this nice little chai, I'm not quite sure how to use it yet. Dishum chai blend, so I'm gonna try and make that soon. So I've got my DeLonghi espresso machine, so you just kind of open that and grind the coffee, which I've got some here. Grind the coffee, put it in here, make your little coffee. I need to actually use this a bit more because I have this, but I still manage to buy five pound lattes most days. Nice big steel sink with brass hardware. All the hardware in this flat is pretty much all brass, which is really nice. And we've got this up here, which is really good for storage. So I've got like all of my less used stuff up there. Wine glasses, plates, dishes, all of that. And then a pull out cupboard, which I've currently managed to break. So it kind of just tips out and scares everyone. And I need someone to fix that because that is going to be taken off my deposit. I have a skinny little dishwasher here, which you know what is better than having no dishwasher. I fit everything I need to in there. Um, it's just pretty slim and skinny. Um, drawers, food and bits, like not that interesting. So this side we have a washer and dryer all together. I've got my laundry in there, Hoover, all of that. And then here I've just got a rack of shoes, which I'm not gonna show you because it is a mess. I have the fridge and the freezer, which spacious, cute, not much to see. So now I have the living room, which is obviously straight off the kitchen. And my favorite part of this room is my little coffee table. Um, I got this from Maid when it still existed and I just love all the little decors. We've got some moss here in a little tray, a marble tray from H&M Home. We've got obviously some Aesop hand cream, some marble coasters to match this. Not that anyone uses them, but you see all the bloody marks on it. The TV over here with this little TV unit, which was already here, and this piece of art that I did myself. We've got this lovely armchair from Swift, which they gifted me when I moved into my last flat. Very lovely of them. You literally just fit the pieces together. It all comes kind of flat packed, but it does not look flat packed. We have my trusty pink plant, maybe? I'm not sure what it is, but he's hardy. Like, I don't treat these plants very well, but they manage to live life to the fullest. And we have the main sofa, which is already here. Usually blue would be a bit offensive to me, but obviously the kitchen's blue, so it works. And it's just a rented place, so can't really complain. Obviously this is a studio and I have a lot of things. So I'm always shoving things in piles in corners. So this is usually the corner to get stuff shoved in. Um, on this little table, I've got a little lamp, got a little plant that needs a bit of TLC. My Sonos Move speaker, which I can just move, put it in the bathroom, all of that. Not that there's really much need because you can just hear it, it's all one room, but yeah. Then we have, I feel like, one of the most unique setting points of the flat, which is the balcony. Obviously, you get balconies in a lot of places, but I feel like it's a very nice, spacious balcony. And all these windows, like, you can just always see it. Obviously, it's London, so it's just been raining, so I'm not going to sit down on this. But I have a little palm, which needs to probably go in the bin. Um, and just, it's cute. I just wanted, like, a cute little Mediterranean vibe. Um, 
have some little grass plants. I have a lemon tree with a mouldy lemon on it and a little lime tree. And yeah, that's the balcony. So then we've got the bedroom, which isn't really a room, but it's like the bedroom area. But it's divided by this little glass panel, which is quite nice because it doesn't feel like it's all one room too much. Um, and it keeps it all really light and airy. So it kind of came with a king size bed, which I'm very happy about. And another little piece of art I did here. Um, it all has this concrete ceiling as well, which is this kind of like industrial warehouse kind of vibe. Brought these lamps with me, which I think are really cute. And they all have Philips Hue in it, so I can just talk to Siri and say, hey, Siri, turn all my lights pink. Oh, it worked, okay. It's very temperamental, but. So at night, that can look really cool. I can have like all the different lights, different colors. Then we have my wardrobe, a singular double wardrobe. So shoving all my clothes in here is very difficult. I put, bought loads of little Ikea drawers and stuff like that. Um, and I keep my bags up here. I bought some little boxes up there with just like clothes I don't wear as often. This is full to the brim. So I cannot wait for another apartment with more space. So we have the only other room in the apartment, which is obviously the bathroom. And I've got all my towels and um, dressing gowns on the door. It's actually a really good sized bathroom. I think I could have like cut this down a little bit and give me some extra room elsewhere, but that's cool. Um, it's all got tiled walls and this cute little tile design on the floor. So it's got these kind of exposed shelves. It's all very like industrial warehouse. Like, I love it. Um, we have all my fragrances here, most of which are gifted to me. I know that's all I get gifted these days, it's just fragrances. Um, but, it's so nice. I have the sink with again the brass tap, which I really like. And then this mirror opens, at which I put anything I don't want people to see, so I'm not gonna open that. So we've got all my little toiletries on here. Um, then we have the walk-in shower, which again has all the brass detailing, which I really like, and it's just all really spacious. So even though it's very expensive for a small little studio, the main selling point is all the amenities you get here, so I'm gonna show you those after as well. So here we've got the central lobby area, which has a little workspace, workroom off the side, which is really nice to come and work in. Um, I was trying to get footage without um, getting anyone in it. And then it has this little courtyard um, where you can see the hot tub and sauna. It's very pretty. Um, here is a workout room where they do classes like a few times a day and the gym, which I love. Um, I'm in here every morning. And here is the pool. I love the pool. I just love it. It's like, oh, you just, when you're swimming, you get the view of the O2 and Canary Wharf. Um, you've got the sauna there and the hot tub, which I love how it goes outside so you don't get too hot while you're in the hot tub. Changing rooms and yes. So just going up to the 29th floor to the rooftop terrace. These amenities are spread over like quite a few different buildings and the top of this one, honestly, gorgeous. Gorgeous to come and sit and work here. You've got beautiful views and tables to work at. Um, and this is the view. The floor underneath me right now is actually a grill and you can see right through it. You're right on the River Thames and you get the most amazing views. Um, it's called London City Island, like it is like a little bit of an island, so there's water all around you. It really feels like a community and there's lots of bars and restaurants and another gym and another outdoor pool, which I love going in here in the evening. I'm actually gonna go in here this evening. But that is the tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you want more content, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Sam Scott Bills. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one.